Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be painting some of the meals I had while I was in Japan last year and I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to paint with me or make any type of art while listening to me ramble throughout this video. I've gotten pretty far into this sketchbook. I only have a couple of spreads left, I think, and I'm just trying to quickly get through everything. I already have this spread uh, sketched out. I was doing a little bit of shading on the meat on the right, but gave up because I knew I was going to paint over it. But I'm figuring out what colors I want. The colors are listed to the left. They're permanent scarlet, magenta, lilac, perm yellow, and turquoise blue. I wanted to use colors that were a bit bright but also reminiscent of I guess the type of oils you would see in ramen broth as well as like the red hues you would see on like meat before you cook it. Like I wanted to get something where if you shine light on meat you get those like really cool blue tones on it and so the color palette I chose was trying to reflect that in a way. I initially was going to make this like super detailed. I was going to try and make it a little bit more realistic than my normal uh, paintings that I do in acrylic wash, but I got to a point where I was like, I, I don't have a lot of time to work in my sketchbook now, at least like these days, and I wanted to just, I didn't want it to look like I tried too hard and it got to the point where like it was 80% there. The, I, I hope you know what I mean. Like there's a point with realism where it just looks not pushed far enough and I don't want my paintings to ever look like that so I still wanted it to look a bit more stylistic and I think I ended up doing that especially with the ramen later on. I was really happy with this lilac color I was using. I don't use it that often but it looked really nice to do the fatty parts of the meat having that as like the base layer and then going over it with a little bit of the blue and a little bit of white it just made it pop and feel like a bit more warm so i guess i should talk about what this painting is based off of there is a like all you can eat shabu shabu place in japan and there, there's a bunch of them but we go to this place called nabizo and you can like eat as much of the meat it's just it's kind of like hot pot where you get a bunch of meat and you throw it into boiling broth and you add like your vegetables or whatever else you want like noodles and you just take it out and you just keep like ordering more and more and since it's all you can eat like we just gorge ourselves on on the meat um, but it's really good cuts it always tastes really amazing and we love going there we make that like our big thing to do at the end of all of our trips but yeah I just always thought the the boxes that the meat came in was like pretty aesthetically pleasing I don't know why and so I've always wanted to paint at least a scene from one of our shabu shabu like dinners and I got this really good picture of the meat when it first came out and yeah so I'm working on that right now 
I'm also sorry about the light changing so often in my videos. I don't have a lot of time during the day to paint. It's usually like whenever I get off work and by that time it's usually getting dark, at least where I live. Um, so most of the time I can paint is during like the weekends. During the day on the weekends I just have like a lot to do and so nighttime is usually when I get to paint. So yeah, I'll eventually get better lighting once I have my studio space set up again. I'm currently doing all my like sketchbook paintings in my dining room and part of that's because like I, it gives me enough table space and the other part is because my cat Mochi, like right here, always needs my attention during the day. And so she always wants to be with me and right now she wants to drink the paint water. It's always a hassle to try and stop her, like I'm literally fighting to keep her alive every single day. I can't remember exactly where I got this ramen from. I don't even think I ate this ramen because it looks spicy um, based on like the yellow broth and I can't even handle Wendy's spicy chicken nuggets. So, I, I know for a fact I couldn't have had this. It was probably either my husband or our friend that we visited while we were there. But I really liked the colors of this ramen. I was just like obsessed with all the like yellow tones in it. And I wanted to use some greens and blues to kind of like counteract that. I don't know my color wheel. I will never know my color wheel and so I always just like have to base compliment I, it's not even complimentary colors but like I have to base my color palette on what I think would look aesthetically pleasing and so I'm like okay these like dirty yellows for the ramen broth look really nice against the clean blue but yeah, I also never took like art fundamentals. I just got thrown into the like normal art classes when I was in college and we didn't really have art classes growing up. So, I mean, we had art classes in high school, but they weren't, you know, great. <laughs> so it's a lot of like feeling for me when it comes to art like I don't really know what I'm doing it's just based on what I think feels right I don't know why but I was just struggling so hard with my like paint portions for especially for like this ramen painting it just I think it's because I had to keep stopping every time I wanted to do it like after 15 or 20 minutes I had to stop and go do something else and so all my paint would be dry and it'd get all like st not sticky but like clumpy and so like that was a bit frustrating but yeah I was just struggling with this one I don't know why I usually really like painting ramen and I usually don't have too hard of a time I think I have an easier time painting food when it's either with oil paint or with like actual artist gouache and so I think the next time I'll do my food paintings in oil. But yeah, so back to the ramen painting. Um, this ramen, I it was from like some spicy ramen shop. I wish I knew the name. I don't, but it was near Todoroki Valley in Setagaya. Um, I did a painting of a train near Todoroki Station. Um, I can link that here if I remember. <laughs> 
But yeah, I did that painting with the Holbein Iridori Winter set, and I did a little review on that. But yeah, I just really liked going to Setagaya. There were so many pretty things there. And I love painting details with ramen, and like mine isn't super detailed at all, but I really enjoy painting like the spices or the little oil bubbles that you get in the corners of the broth. And so I'm doing that right now. I'm just adding like little flecks of pepper and I think it just really adds to the whole painting. And that's the completed spread. I honestly really like how this turned out. I'm actually really happy with how the ramen turned out. I was having trouble doing the bowl and the plate underneath, but it still looks good, especially like compared to the, the meat. I just really love how this looks. It's not super detailed, but it just looks fun. But yeah, that's the entire spread. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you made any art while you were watching, I'd love to hear about it or just hear about anything you'd have to say. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!